Hi, I'm Keith Dottle with Soccer News Magazine, and this is the UBCO 2x2 Special Edition. This is a electric utility vehicle made by a New Zealand company, UBCO, whose original intent for the starting of their company was to make electric vehicles that you could use around the farm for checking fence lines, herding cattle, things like that. Uh, they've since kind of broadened their market aspirations, if you will, and now they've come out with um, this special edition unit that's made for more kind of your urbanite crowd, someone who can use it for going to the grocery store, running around town, maybe going back and forth to work, but still have the ability to get out on the weekends and do fun stuff, maybe run forest service roads or go out and just enjoy nature. So Upco offers a couple of different models. They have a base model that's $49.99 retail price. And then this model here, the special edition model is $69.99. Some of the features and benefits that you get with the special edition that you don't get with the base model unit is the two-tone paint. It has a shorter, sportier looking front fender. This luggage compartment, you've got this bag here. You've got some under seat storage. There's also a bag that goes back here. I removed it just because I felt like it made it difficult to get on and off the unit, but it's, it looks just like this. It's designed and, and matches the bike. The seat color is matched to the unit. It has this peak design phone mount. It has the giant loop straps that come with the bike. It has all of these tabs where you can mount all kinds of different accessories from surfboard holders to just flat racks to pretty much whatever you want to mount on the thing. So this one has a lot of features and benefits that the base model doesn't have. Kind of again going back to that trying to appeal to the more urbanite user, the city, more city friendly type of a vehicle that you could use to get groceries, carry stuff around, things like that. There is a really cool little app that goes with the unit. It talks to the unit and tells you all kinds of information about the battery status. It'll tell you speed, how much charge you have on the battery, the temperature of the battery, things like that. The dash gives you a lot of that same information. It is an all digital dash, very nicely done. The app, it's just kind of a neat to have thing. You can check the battery status from your you know, if you're sitting in your living room and wondering how, how much charge is on your, your little machine, you can check it on the app. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Talk a little bit about the riding experience. This bike has all adjustable suspension. The front forks have adjustable preload and dampening. The rear suspension is adjustable. It's adequate suspension. It's certainly not high-end motocross suspension. You're, you're definitely gonna wanna slow down when you start hitting big bumps on it. They say it has a 75 mile range on the battery. This unit does have the larger battery. There's two different batteries that you can get. All of the special edition units come with the larger battery. The base model, you can get smaller battery for, I think that's what sets it at that $49.99 price point. And then it goes up from there, depending on the size of battery you want. But that 75 mile range, we're in the mountains here and I rode it around both on the roads, four service roads, did a lot of riding around our little family farm here, checking the chickens and checking fence lines and stuff like that. When the thing is fully charged, it has a really peppy get up and go. It's a lot of fun to ride. So long as the battery has at least about a half a charge, this unit is considered a moped, so it won't go faster than 30 miles an hour. That's kind of the, the regulatory part of it. But that's good because it means you don't have to register the unit. You don't have to have a motorcycle driver's license in most states now your state may differ. 30 miles an hour, it'll get to that 30 miles an hour really quickly, so long as the battery is charged up, like I say, half or more. I'm not an electric vehicle expert by any means, and I did notice that there's a battery temperature on here. It tells you how hot the battery is getting. The app also tells you how hot the battery is getting. And I did notice that as the battery got hotter, the performance would go down. And after you ran down to a past half charge, um, it would still move you. You still feel like it's gonna get you where you wanna go, but you definitely are not going as quickly, nor are you getting that up to that 30 miles an hour as fast. And I found going up hills after I was below half charge, I was lucky to achieve 25, 20 miles an hour, depending on how low the battery got. I never ran it completely dead, but it was feeling like I was getting pretty close when I was at around 50 miles or so. And again, we are in the mountains here. If you were on flat ground, 
you know, it'll probably go 75 miles, no problem. A little bit different up here in the mountains. I think for what the thing is used for, what it's meant to be used for, it does a great job. The things I didn't like about it was the front wheel, it is a two by two, as the nomenclature suggests. Both wheels have driving force and the front wheel feels like it has more power, even though it doesn't. They're both one kilowatt motors in each wheel, but that front wheel will get out from under you pretty quick. If you gas it hard and you're on a slick surface, the front wheel will spin quickly and it can slip out from under you. So you gotta be really careful with that. That's something to get used to. The other thing is I'm a motocross guy, so I'm always holding the bike with my knees and I would hit my knees on these bars here quite often. It was very painful, frankly. I looked in their catalog to see if maybe there was even a pad here, an accessory pad or something. They don't make one. I would suggest they should because uh, if you're an old school dirt bike rider and you get on this thing, you'll definitely hit your knees on those bars. Um, other than that, it's super easy to ride. It's all electric. You push the button, you gas it and go. Absolutely just the simplest thing you could ever ride. And I had a great time riding it. Uh, and for what it's meant to do, I think it does a really great job. At $69.99, I don't know, the price point for me personally seems a little high, but if you're in the market for a really robust little unit like this to be low impact, electric, easy to operate, use it around the farm, maybe you're an overland person, these things are big with overland people, people who have RVs and things like that, um, it might be the unit for you. Um, for me, seems like a little bit of a high price point, $69.99, um, but it might be right for you. And it is a, a company that's been around for a while, so you know that they're gonna have service and support.